wonderful people, it's Wild here. Today I'll be showing you how to create this cozy forest A-frame house. This quaint build with its mossy roof and leaves draping down the side really looks at home in any forest setting and will be a showstopper in your world. Let's get creating. The materials you'll need for this build are on your screen now. Keep in mind that as we'll be randomizing and adding texture, it's helpful to have a few extra of each block on hand. Here is the outline of today's build. You can see that the build takes up a space which is 11 by 13 blocks. The side walls where the roof connect are 11 blocks long, and then you can see that the 13 block walls for the front and back have a nine wide section pushed in a little bit to give the build some dimension. We're going to begin this build by adding the A-frame shape of our roof using dark oak planks and stairs and we'll also need some spruce logs. Come to one of your corners, I'm starting on this front one here but it doesn't matter which corner you start on, and add in a stair. Then build up two high with some dark oak planks, add a stair on top and then an upside down stair. And we're going to continue along this pattern so we leave a gap above this centre point of the roof. So block, block, stair, stair, block, block, and then I've come to my center point here, so I'm just going to add a stair on top, but I'm not going to add the upside down stair. I'll now come to the other side and do exactly the same thing. So each time we're going up by two blocks with a stair on top. And you should see that by the time you reach the same point as on the other side, you should have a one block gap and they should be the same height. Now in this gap, I'm going to place in some spruce logs. Now you could use a placeholder block to do this. I'm just going to use some extra spruce and I want them to face forward like this. Then on top, I can add in another three dark oak planks to finish off the point. I'll then go ahead and create the same outline on the back side of the build. Once you've got both of your A-frames in, we're going to connect the stairs at the bottom with another row of stairs. Just like that. Now we're going to be adding in our walls, starting with these front and back walls. I'm going to work on the back wall first and you'll be needing some spruce logs, tuff, andesite, cobblestone and glass. Now if you don't have access to uh, tuff, you can easily replace it with some more andesite and cobble and you could even mix in some mossy cobble. But all I'm doing here is creating a texturized look using these three materials and I'm building up too high just along this outline. And you can use as much or as little of each material as you'd like. So just like this. On top of this, I'm going to grab some spruce logs and I'm finding the center and counting out two to either side. So that way there's a two block gap on either side and then a three block gap in the center. And I'm going to build these two posts up a total of four high. One, two, three, four. I'll then extend these out and create a join in the center like this. I'll then come to the very center and build up my spruce all the way up to the height of this here log and I can extend this log all the way across to meet up with the front of the build. Now that we've got this framing on, we can switch to some glass. On this lower level, I'll just be filling in the whole wall with glass. And you can see here that I'm following the shape of our outline. So I've built in front of these stairs, but I'm not going beyond this as this is where our roof will be sitting. Now on this level, I need to allow some room for the doorways. So I'm adding in two two high doorways on either side of this post. So it should look like that. And then I'll fill in up to the height of the roof. So it should look like this from the interior. And if we look from the outside, it should look like that. 
Now we'll come around to the front of the build and add in the front wall. I'm going to start off in a similar way creating a foundation using my tough andesite and cobblestone. This time though I'm leaving a little doorway here which is too high and centered in the build. There we go, like this. Then I'm going to grab some spruce planks and build three across the top over the top of the doorway. And I'm going to create the same framing pattern using my spruce logs as we had on the back wall. So I'm building up four high, one, two, three, four, either side of this three wide section, extending out one to either side and joining them in the center, and then building all the way up to the top, like that. Then I'll grab some more spruce planks and I'm going to place two on either side of here like this. And then I'll switch to some glass to fill in the rest. Once again, we're following along the shape of the roof here. So it should look like this from the interior. And when we look from the front, it'll look like this. I've now come round to the left side of the build here and we're going to add in a chimney. So I'm counting four blocks in from the front, one, two, three, four, and breaking the fifth one and replacing it with a stone brick. Now I'll be switching between mossy and regular versions of my stone bricks, stairs and walls here. And so you'll want to make sure you have a mixture of both so you can texturize as you go. I'll then come behind this and I'm building two to the side here like this. And then I'll come up four, creating the texture as I go. That's three and one more on top, four. I'll then place four walls in front, like that. I'm also coming to the side and coming down with two walls and I'm gonna add another two bricks on top of here. There we go. On top of this, I'm gonna add a right way up stair and then an upside down stair. And we should have our chimney looking like this so far. Now I'm coming behind the chimney to the block below these stairs and I'll build back one. Like that, and then build another four on top of here. One, two, three, and one more, four. Like that. I'm going to use some more stairs. I've got one going in here and then I'll build up three with some blocks beside it. One, two, three, so I can place another upside down stair like that. And I'm going to put three walls on top of this stair here. One, two, three. The idea for this chimney is we want to have a lot of shape, kind of following and falling back towards the roof line as we build. All right, now I'm going to come back to these stairs and come to the block below it. And I'm going to count one more down and start building in with some more blocks. So I'm building one back and then I'm going to come up to the height below the stairs here like this. And then I'm going to build up another five on top of here. One, two, three, four, five. So you should see it's sitting two blocks above this here block here. And I'm going to use that and place in some stairs. One, two, like that. We're getting really close to the top of the chimney here. I'm going to place in two more blocks. One, two. I'm going to put a stair in here facing backwards, but right way up. And then I'll place two more blocks on top of that. And then we're really close to the top of the chimney here. So I'll add in one more block and then I'm placing campfires on these three points. So it should look like that. Now we're going to come in with some walls to add a little bit more dimension. I'm coming down to this block here and I'm adding in three more walls. One, two, three. I'll then come round to the other side and we're going to add in some more walls. I've got three coming on this side. One, two, three. And then I'm going to build up with my walls till I reach the same height as this stair. So we've got five there. To finish off this chimney, I'm going to surround each of my campfires with some spruce trapdoors. So here's how our chimney should look from a couple different angles. 
Now, if yours isn't exactly the same as mine, that's totally fine. All you need to do is ensure that this kind of stepping pattern follows along with the steps of the build, so that way you're not interrupting the roof line. But if your stairs and your walls are in a slightly different location, that's totally okay. Now that the chimney's in, we can start adding in the sides of our roofs or our walls. They kind of play the purpose of both. I'm starting on the side without the chimney here, and what we want to do is fade from all moss blocks at the top down to spruce at the bottom. So I'm going to start at the top of this build by adding a layer of two high moss blocks. I'll then add a layer three high, so that is the same height as the guides of our roof, going all the way across. And now on this next layer, we're going to have mostly moss, but I'm going to mix in a little bit of spruce. So I'm going all the way across on the top layer. And then on this next layer down, I'm going to start adding in my spruce. There's just a little bit of spruce in here, but you can see the texture is going to start fading. This next layer down is going to have a lot more spruce and just a little bit of moss. So I'm going to add in a few pieces of my moss as I go and then switch back to my planks. So there's how the next layer is looking. And on these two layers, we pretty much have all spruce here. Now what I'm doing, you can see I've got some spruce stairs and slabs, is I'm mixing these in as I go to add a little bit more texture to the roof. So I'm gonna build a three high, but as I come along, I'm gonna add in the occasional stair and slab. So I've come four across here. I think I'm gonna add a moss block into this section and I'm gonna use a stair here as well. Then I'll continue along. And then for the final layer, once again, I'll have mainly my spruce here. But I'm also going to add in a stair, I think three blocks in on this side. And then I'll use my stairs and my slabs, as well as some trapdoors to add a little bit more texture. And you can see it really does make a big difference by adding in these extra spruce items. And don't be afraid to break and replace your spruce items until you have a texture that you're happy with. I think that's looking pretty good. I might add another one here and maybe one down here as well. Like that. Now on the other side of the build where we have the chimney, we'll be doing the exact same thing, except we just need to be aware of where the chimney is going to be running into the roof. Once again, I'm going to start from the top of the build. We've already got our two high layer, so I'm just going in with my next layer of uh, moss blocks, which is three high. Like that. This next layer down is once again, mostly moss, but I'm going to mix in just a little bit of spruce. And you can see you might need to do some tricky maneuvering here to get behind the chimney. And you can always have a look from the interior of the build to make sure you haven't missed any spots. The next layer down we have a little bit of moss and a little bit of spruce. This is where the fade really starts to occur. And once again, I'm sneaking inside the build to build behind the chimney. A 
like that. And now we've got mostly spruce on this next layer. Once again, mixing in a few stairs as we go. Come inside the build again. And we're almost there with this part of the build. The final layer is all spruce. And now I'll go in with my stairs and my slabs as well as my trapdoors to add some extra texture. I'm going to take a step back here and I think I'm happy with this texturization. Now we've got a lot of details to add to this build but before we add those to the outside I'm going to come inside the build and start by adding in my floor. Now I'm using some stripped dark oak logs here. I really like the wide floorboard texture they add. We'll also be adding in a fireplace where we've got our chimney. You just want to dig out your floor and of course you can use whatever material you'd like for your floor. I also find that using some polished andesite looks really good and gives a tiled look. If you're looking for a really fun place to build and play Minecraft with other creators, check out my Patreon server where I have a great community there and you get to build and play alongside me. Next I'm going to add in my next floor level and I'm going to use a ladder to reach it. So I'm building up to the height that we have our doorway here and then I'll add in my floor around that. Of course you want to make sure you're lighting up your build as you go, especially if you're in survival. I'm going to be using lanterns to light up my build. You can see I'm also coming to either side of the ladder and adding in some spruce trapdoors. I really like the look this gives. I'm just going to hang a few lanterns for now and then I'll make them more decorative later. When you come up to the top of the build it's also nice to hang some lanterns from this main rafter here and I'm using some chains to do this. All right, now let's add some details. I'm starting on the back side of the build for these details here, and I'm gonna be using some spruce logs and placing them one block apart along this beam here. I'll then add some spruce slabs in between, and next we're going to create a little balcony. So I'm adding a spruce log here, and then I'll just place some temporary blocks. I've got some pods all. So I can place spruce trapdoors all along the front. Just like that. Next you want to place in your doorways. I'm placing these from the inside of the build, clicking on this spruce log. So that way they open outwards like this. And I'm going to break and replace my doors until I get them facing in the same direction. You might need to rotate the way you're facing to place them. And come back out now. I'm going to grab some spruce fences next and build all the way up the height of here, like that. Then I'll come down to the bottom of the build and I'm going to add in some logs, some walls and some more fences. Next let's create some planters, these are just going along the base of the build. And let's add some lighting. There we go. Now for the front of the build we want to create a design with a similar feel. I'm going to start by placing some spruce logs in and some spruce slabs and then I'm connecting them up with some walls and fences. Here I'm going to add a plant going all the way across and then build up with my spruce fences. And I'm going in with some trapdoors to add some more detail. We've also got two planters on either side at the front.
Once again, we want to add our door looking from the interior of the build and placing it on this grass block. So that way it opens outwards and when you look from the outside, it's got this door frame around it. We also need to add in some lighting here. I'm going to hang this one one block down so it's right above the door and then three blocks down for this one on top. There we go. Now I'm going to head inside the build to create my fireplace. So we're going to be working where we've got this chimney here and I'm going to start by placing in a chiseled stone brick on either side. Ned and I'm going to place in two slabs so that they're a block and a half up and use this to place in two stairs like this. And then I'm going to place in two more stairs upside down and facing forward here. Next I'll go in with my campfires. And then I want to create a hearth. I'm just using some cobblestone. Like that. On top of this hearth I'm adding in two iron trapdoors and I'm going to break below the hearth and add in two levers. And when I flip them, the trapdoors will flip up like this and I can replace this block. I'm then also going to grab out some spruce trapdoors to add in a mantle like this and then we can put decorations on top of here. Another option you can have if you would like your chimney to extend upwards through the section of the roof is you can replace these four spruce planks with some more stone bricks and I think this really accentuates the look of the fireplace and doesn't change the exterior look of the build. Now that the structure of this build is complete let's add some details and greenery to make it really pop and I'll show you how to decorate the interior. And there we go, doesn't that look marvelous with all the greenery? You can see that I've added some leaves draped over the sides of the roof and coming down the front and around the chimney. I've used a mixture of white flowers, ferns and grass to decorate on top of the moss parts of the A-frame and I've used the same flower colour scheme in all of the planters throughout the build. You can see I've used the same greenery around the build and since this has a really cosy cabin like feel with the A-frame design, I've stuck to that kind of concept for the exterior. So I've got some logs over on this side and then over to the right I've got a little campfire setting. As for crops I've gone with potatoes and this is because not only are they a great crop but they look really good with the build as they've got the same kind of tones. And then I've just gone with a really natural lighting scheme using some lanterns on the fences and on some walls here. Alright, let's take a look inside. As we come up our pathway here, I've got two levels to decorate. So coming inside on the first floor we have our main living area. You can see the fireplace takes center stage here and I've centered a seating area around it. I've put some decor on the mantel. And I've used some item frames to decorate the chimney of the fireplace. If we turn around and take a look at the other side of the build, I fit in a little kitchen. And I've used lots of spruce to create this. I've got some hanging shelving here. And I've used some armor stands with some leather caps to create some little bench seating. I've got a little office space tucked in the side and a bookshelf in the corner and then I've created a lot of interest by adding lots of decor items like pots, candles, skulls, sea pickles and turtle eggs as well as decor on the walls. You can see that for all the planting I've got in my pots I've gone with things that are found outside so I've got these tiny little spruce topiaries. Next let's head upstairs and for here I've created a little bedroom area. So for the bed, I've created a framed bed design and we've got quite a lot of space to work with here. So using something like this just makes your decor feel more purposeful. I've created a long casing of books at the end of the build and then I've created a little vanity using a banner for the mirror. Once again, I've got lots of artwork on the walls and decor to fill up the space. And then I've kept this area here over by the doors open so you can take a step outside and enjoy the beautiful forest scenery. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, if you did please consider liking and subscribing, I'd really appreciate it and check out my Patreon if you'd like to support me further and get some awesome benefits. I'll see you in another video!